Hello, this is Deacon Tony Clisham, the Catechetical Formation Lead here at the Diocese of Joliet. I would like to take a moment to tell you about a young program that is generating a lot of excitement, our School of Spiritual Direction. I'd like to answer three questions you might have. First, what is it? Second, why is it important? And third, how might the school be of interest to you? First, the School of Spiritual Direction in the Diocese of Joliet is a program offered in partnership with Franciscan University of Steubenville for those seeking formation and training in becoming a spiritual director. Second, the program is important because we know we have brothers and sisters who seek spiritual guidance and the demand is growing. Third, your interest in knowing more about this may be a sign that the Lord is calling you to this important ministry. As our Lord invited the two disciples who came to him seeking spiritual guidance, allow me to repeat that invitation. Come and see. What you will discover is a program that emphasizes prayer, discernment, spiritual reading, practical experience, and personal supervision. Our students tell us that the program has helped them in their own journey of faith, even as they gain the tools to accompany others in theirs. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has spoken often about the importance of spiritual accompaniment. It is a concrete way the church can put faith into action. If you think you are being called to the Ministry of Spiritual Director, then I encourage you to continue watching and contact our office to learn more. The School of Spiritual Direction. Come and see. I believe God calls some people to be spiritual directors. I see it as a vocation, as a sacred calling. And I think the way we know that he's calling us is if he sends people to us. When I got into formation uh, for the diaconate here, um, I met my spiritual director and he helped me to kind of work through a lot of things that I was struggling with in, in my life and, and through formation. And um, I think I, I felt that urging early on through my spiritual direction, a call to spiritual direction for others. I had prayed for a long time for the Lord just to show me what he had in mind for me to do. I've always wanted to do more for the Lord and to spread the good word of, that he has and to help others. In addition to deepening my prayer life and growing in my relationship with the Lord, I've also gained um, a really strong self-awareness it, of God, God's presence in my, my daily life. I have gained a deepening trust for God's plan in my, for my life and a stronger confidence in his love for me. What I've gotten out of this experience of spiritual direction is um, I think a, a more intimate relationship with, with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ just by going through the program and really focusing on my interior life um, and, that, and that's I think a big part of it I think to be able to accompany others um, we need to have our interior life in order to do that. I think I had a pretty good prayer life before but really through the spiritual direction program it's taken that to another level. I'm hearing God speaking to me more clearly it's helping me to quiet down my mind when I pray and to savor that time with God each day. We can only meet someone as deeply as we've met ourselves. And I think we can only meet Jesus and our faith as deeply as we've had awareness of where he's working in our lives. You sort of really learn your rough edges, your growing edges, and you really learn to abide in the Holy Trinity, sit back and listen. what spiritual direction is, it's really just walking with others um, in the presence of the Lord and their relationship with the Lord. 
So I think it's important to take that to prayer and um, just ask the Lord if, if that's what he's calling you to. If God is calling someone to be a spiritual director, then he will surely equip them and this School of Spiritual Direction will help in that. Spiritual Direction is a healing ministry and you can sit at church and receive the Eucharist and be a part of the body of Christ. But I think it's so important for people to be deeply listened to and heard. There's a great need for, for spiritual directors in our diocese. Talk to the people around you, the people who know you best, and see if they agree that, uh, that you might have a sacred calling to be a spiritual director.